I've made this link tree so it's easier for you guys to get into contact with me. If you want to find out more about the course, it's over on my Buy Me A Beer. If you want to simply get into contact with me, it's over on my crypto Twitter or my crypto Instagram. How's it going everyone? It's Lou Crypto here. I'm back with another quant update for you all. We cover these cryptos every single weekday, so make sure you do subscribe if you're not already. And YouTube's all about engagement, so bump that algorithm, leave a like, leave a comment, share this update if you can, and turn the notification bell on so you're kept up to date. Now, in the last few updates, I've cleared up uh, this uh, quant chart and in the last few updates we've been talking about this level over here, this double bottom neckline, $131. This is where we called a bearish uh, patterns target all the way down to 106 which we bounced off absolutely exactly after meeting the target and returning back to 131 which was the original neckline for the pattern that sent us to 106. On the way down to 106 you actually retested some key levels, these are the FIB levels. Now the deepest we can go is the 786 before finding a bounce. Now that bounce actually doesn't mean anything because in reality by losing this golden box over here, if I just make it gold, so by losing this golden box over here as we did, it should just be flipped into resistance and then looking for continuation lower. And we, we were always saying on the channel, as soon as $100, that is a psychological level, as soon as that is lost, we're looking for sales. Until then, I believe, yes, we are under the bear market box, which just means that we should be expecting sell pressure and we were seeing it after rejecting it. That's why we called for this head and shoulders or descending triangle or M pattern. So the M pattern, this would be your neckline and that's your M pattern over there. One top, second top, neckline, lose the neckline. It doesn't actually matter which one of the patterns you wanted to call it because all the targets are measured from there back to the neckline, put it on the breakdown and we got our $106 target met. And so when that usually happens, when we meet a pattern target, we like and tend to create a pattern in the opposite direction. It doesn't mean 100% of the time, unfortunately. Nothing here is anyway, but we usually tend to form a pattern in the opposite direction. And what could that pattern be? I'm seeing a potential double bottom set up. This is something that we saw on HBAR and XRP and VeChain and HBAR in the last three days broke out. It's already up 20% since its breakout. We've had XRP, you know what XRP did. Go check out my XRP videos. I've made uh, a few updates in the last few days. Yeah, and they've been really exploding the updates. So thank you all for tuning into those updates. If you haven't, go check them out. And also keep on top of the Bitcoin updates, especially if I'm not able to make a quant video. But you know, I'm always making quant videos for you guys. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit and uh, go from Wix to Wix because there's always people arguing if I do it to the bodies saying, oh, no, you're not catching everything. So for those people, they can't even say anything now. I'm always doing it to the Wix for them. So we would need finally a body candle close above that. Look at where it's crossing over exactly on the neckline of this old double bottom of this head and shoulders. And now this new double bottom all of the necklines are the same price, which is $131. So that's all we need to do. Until then, there are risks of coming down. We know the levels we need to hold, which is this golden pocket. It was lost, but now it's reclaimed and confirmed as support over here on $116. Exactly. So it's been listening to these fibs exactly. And we can see that it didn't even respect the 0.5 fib as resistance. So I'm going to get rid of these indicators because in consolidation range bound markets, the EMAs or the moving averages or SMAs, whatever you're using, they're not too they're not too good. In consolidating markets, you can go and research this. You want to be using EMAs in trending markets only. So that's why I've just gotten rid of all the moving averages and we're solely looking at price action over here. And we can see that the price action has closed above the 0.5 fib retested it yesterday with the daily candle close. So that's confirmation that it's actually held. And today we've had another go at trying to break below. We still have 10 hours left, so we can't get overexcited. But at the moment, with 10 hours left, it's printing as a spinning top or a bullish hammer, like Thor's hammer looking like this candle over here. And when we see these candles at support, like this one and this one over here, we're looking for bounces. So as we've just broken above the 0.5 fib, if in 10 hours time, remember it's 10 hours time from now until we get the confirmation of what this currently hammer is. You know, in 10 hours time, this could be a big red candle 
because again, there's 10 hours of the day left. Anything can happen. We could be down here. We could be up there. I doubt, but you get what I'm saying. We can't make a judgment off a moving candle. And so we can get rid of today's candle and go off of yesterday's. And we can see that it was underneath the 0.5 looking to continue lower, but it actually reclaimed it, confirmed its support. This is telling you that before the end of the day, the bulls have stepped in. So this is why we should see bulls stepping in today in which we've seen that, but we need the confirmation. And so let's now wait for the daily candle close. But at least in the meantime, we'll go over to the four hour time frame. So in the chat, the last few days, we were talking about this bullish channel over here and bullish channels or rising wedges or whatever you want to call it. You can even say this is an inverted uh, rising wedge or whatever you want to say inverted because it's a uh, getting like further and further away. But yeah, it started off quite close down here. And these tend to break down because anything rising breaks down. And so we're looking for bearish continuation. Not only that, if you want to get rid of this and just use this trend line, we can take a resistance from there. And you can see that is a rising wedge, not the not the opposite one. Uh, the I don't even know the wide, the broadening rising wedge. That's the name of it. This is just your regular one. We've broken down. I called this exactly in the chat the last few days. I forgot if it was yesterday or the day before, but I already placed these fibs in the chat, sent the picture in, and it looks like we're trying to find support within this area. Although this is a bearish pattern, we should go ahead and meet the target. That's down at $116. This is what should happen. But please understand trading doesn't work like this, okay? Just because something should happen, it doesn't mean it will at all. Any pattern has like two thirds, 66% chance. Even if it's a bearish pattern, it's a 66% chance it will break down bearish. You can also invalidate these patterns. So how could we go ahead and invalidate this uh, rising wedge trying to send us back down to 116, 118? Well, all we need to do is break this high. And again, what was if we zoom out, that is saying 127. But look what is directly above us when we scale out to the daily time frame, $131. So for me, I'm keeping it simple. We just need to hold this golden pocket and wait for a daily candle close above this 131 or you can wait for the 382 which is one dollar higher it doesn't matter and only then will we head back up to our range high because that is what it's trying to do ever since returning into this demand zone our support or bottom of the range it's had an incredible bounce reclaiming the golden pocket looking for continuation back to our range high which is between 150 and 162 dollars the only thing in the way is the mid midpoint of the range. Not exactly the middle, but we're calling it the midpoint because this is where everything's struggling to get past. Here as resistance, here as support, and here as resistance. These are the levels that need to be broken. And just as it did in the past, where we broke above, we head to this point, we should do it again. But in reality, guys, if we're ever coming back up to this price point here of 150 and 160, I do believe this will be the time where we actually try to head upwards and onwards to 230, back up to this high, looking for a 250, 260 uh, quant target. I will get you some targets to the upside. And again, these new fibs are just going to reiterate my point. The 0.5 fib level is exactly at the $131 mark. And we know that in actual fact, when we're using fibs, it's a retracement tool. So after a big dump off like this, you're retracing, looking for continuation lower. This is what should happen. But the fibs are basically telling you the fibs here. Why are these targets here? Because although this is what should happen, the fibs know nothing here is 100%. And you need to get that in your head. I know a lot of you do, some of you don't. And so just realize just because something should happen doesn't mean you just 100% stick to that bias. Always prepare for the other scenario. And this is what the fibs do. It's preparing you for the worst case. It's telling you nothing here is 100% confirmed. So the quicker we understand this, the easier everything becomes. Prepare for both scenarios, but react. And at the moment, we rejected the 0.5 fib. So that would essentially mean we want to come down, doesn't it? But I already gave these levels last week, the ones that we need to hold. And we've retested them and confirmed them as support and bounce from that location, which is in between $115 and $120. Please leave a like if you remember that. Leave a comment if you remember that. Just to, yeah, just nice to know if any of you were actually watching that video and you took any uh, like 
ide trade ideas from this level, which I said I'm expecting bounces from. So we've bounced from there. It looks like we're now trying to come back up to this wick. I will just say 131, but I'm going to measure from here to there. And it looks like that if we can actually break past $131, just as we were saying early in the video, 150 to 160 will be our next target. But I do believe this is, will be the, the time where we can actually break through this bear market box and flip it into a bull market box because if we're even getting up to this price point, we need to break this downtrend. And when you break this downtrend, you have a target at the top of the trend. And we have confluence measuring this dip all the way from 162 to our exact target, $106. And then we can see the 1618 target here at 200 and 12 and then 250 and even up here at $300. Please understand that this will be a trend line that we have to tackle. This is exactly why I said to sell your quant here up at $230, whether that was between 200 and 230, I told you guys to sell simply because although we were above the bear market box and at the time I made it green, I made everyone aware this is still technically bearish because we haven't, tech. well, we met the target, but of this head and shoulders on the left over here, but we haven't reclaimed it. That's what you need to do to go on the path, uh, the original path. And as long as we were holding this, we're looking for bullish continuation because this acts as our bottom. Just as now we are below, every time we come up into there, it's acting as our top. So if we come up to it, it should act as our top. It should act as resistance, just as one time it was support. And uh, from this location over here at $150, and the bounce of this trend line, we pumped a 185%. And then on this second occasion over here, we pumped just exactly to that neckline of the head and shoulders. Yes, it was only 50, but on this breakout, it depends how long it actually takes. Again, the longer it takes, the higher will actually go. As we can see, this is upward sloping. But again, if we do break out of this green trend line, this is the this is a, the next trend line that I do expect to be eventually retested, and we have further confluence, further confirmation from the fibs le fib levels over here. So from current price, heading up to three hundred dollars would be a one hundred and forty percent move. This would be incredible going forward for quant. But I've already made you aware that in the past, over here. There was an inverse head and shoulders, shoulder, head, shoulders, which we call this breakout. Yes, the target was actually back to the top here at 425, but I made everyone aware. Actually, we're, I'm going to be selling over here simply because we're still under. I'm not expecting us to go above. We never retested it as resistance. So this is exactly why I'm expecting rejections from this price point. And we got that. I was calling for $120 to act as support, but we just returned to 100 and nice psychological level to hold. So that's pretty much it for today's update. If you want me to teach you this, I've got a mentorship plan. It's got included my Discord group chat for free. You get my course for free, which is six hours long and 35 videos. You have that for life, as well as 10 one-to-one -one sessions. So take action on that over my Twitter or my Instagram, and it's all linked underneath. But if you just want the course, that is currently down to 90 pounds, and you can take action over on my Twitter or Instagram. There is actually more information on my Buy Me A Beer link. All the links you need are over in my link tree, and it's in the top right corner or in the description down below. Thank you guys. There's a link tree in the comment section or the description down below, or even in the top right corner, you can just click it over here somewhere and it can take you to my crypto Twitter, Instagram, where you can private message me. If you want to actually just take action on the course or the mentorship without talking to me, head over to my buy me a bit. Now I'll bring up a page looking like this. You can even get one single mentorship session anyway, but all the details that you need here, you get 10 sessions and here you get 30 plus videos, six hour course. And yeah, all the information you need is over here.